Hey there YouTube, I'm Joe, you're watching my channel, Ink and Iron, and today I actually want to take a look at the uh, newest pen addition to my collection. You can see it is a Caveco pen out of Germany. You can hear it flopping around in there. It comes in this really cool tin, uh, so if you're into tins, definitely get yourself a Caveco fountain pen. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. This, my friends, <laughs> moved as I was moving the uh, tin around, apparently. It was sitting diagonally. You can carry one pen like that, or two pens sitting parallel. Sorry, had to cut there. Anyway, you could fit two pens in there for traveling or convenience, what have you. But uh, yeah, this is the Supra, which I was stocking for a couple of years, to be honest with you. Probably about at least three, if not four years. I've been thinking about getting this pen in just the um, brass, is uh, I believe their standard version of this. Then they made stainless steel, and uh, then they made the Lilliput, which is a smaller, similarly designed pen. Um, and they did that in the fire blue, and I was like, oh, if they ever do a fire blue Supra, I will have to get my hands on one. And uh, sure enough, Goulet emailed me the other day and told me they were in, and that was that. The deal was sealed. All right, as you can see on the cap here, got Caveco logo, Supra, Germany. We have a uh, cap jewel, if you will. Um, it is etched in, I guess, or maybe scrolled in. Who knows? It is physically a part of the pen, though. There's a little bit of threading on the back, which I'll explain in a second, and very lightly machined texture on the outside. Um, I like that. It speaks to the uh, actual milling process that produced this pen, or lathing, rather. Um, as you can see, there's a cap there's another piece here, and then there's the body of the pen. This midsection is part of the Supra's appeal, and uh, I will break that down for you in just a second. Okay, so let's talk about this middle section. As you can see, slightly raised compared to the uh, normal, so to speak, portion of this barrel. Um, here is the grip section housing a Number six size nib, I don't remember if I already said that. I've been interrupted so many times. Anyway, here is the standard international short cartridge for demonstration. It does fit this nib unit. You can also do a large cartridge or a standard international converter will fit in the barrel as it is currently configured. However, you do have the option and if you're if you have headphones or if you have very nice electronic uh, speakers. You might want to turn them down. Oh god, it just it sounds so horrible. I have to lubricate this as soon as possible, but I wanted you guys to have the authentic experience that I had the first time I unscrewed this barrel. So, the top section of the barrel can be left off, and then can have a little bit of like a capsule pen. So very short, compact design here on the Supra without the middle section. Here's a Caveco Sport for comparison. It's actually shorter than the Sport, if you can believe that. That's very, very compact and fully stainless steel. So this is going to be an excellent pocket pen. And with those threads I showed you earlier, can actually post the cap and then you have a decent sized writing pen and uh, since I have it here already let me <laughs> try to pull it apart yeah I would say uh, a little bit longer than the Caveco Sport maybe they are just about the same size so that's pretty cool so if you like the sport design or size and, uh, you know, the company Caveco, the Supra might be for you as well. Although I will say the uh, flamed blue finish here did 
run at a premium, so keep that in mind if you're looking for the special edition. But uh, yeah, that's the first look at the Gaveco Supra. I'm really looking forward to inking it up. And uh, here at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a bonus. Um, well, this isn't the bonus. This is just the clip that I got for it. Look at that. That is quite portable. Oh yeah, I'm going to like this pen. I can sense it already. Um, but we are going to lubricate this threading and uh, see if it does anything for the sound. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you don't feel like sticking around and watching, thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, come back to this channel for more fountain pen content. Uh, I also collect knives and uh, typewriters and such. So uh, if you want to see that kind of thing, stick around, subscribe, and uh, come back. All right, let's lubricate these threads. Little side note here, I just pulled off the cap and uh, I left kind of a skid across the flame blue finish here. So uh, these clips are maybe best served on uh, a fully uh, metal pen, aluminum, brass, steel, something like that. Um, this delicate finish apparently does not agree with this clip so much. So uh, next time I put it on, I will leave it on for as long as possible. Okay, so our problem here is these big old threads right here. So, have a little bit of, this is a silicone grease. It is a thinner viscosity than you might see from like Goulet pens. Um, I got this from Twisby when I bought, I think it was the Eco. Um, so this isn't widely available as far as I know. If someone does have a link to it, please, please drop it in the comments section. That would be awesome. All right, let's try and get a little bit on there. I'm gonna go both sides just to expedite this process, hopefully. It's not a little bit. I'm doing this through the phone camera, so a little challenging to see. All right. Again, headphone users, maybe turn it down. Go ahead and hit these as well. Come on. I'm trying to use the heat from my hand to dispense the silicone grease. There we go. Okay. I feel like we've worked all of our connections here. Let's check it. Yeah, that is much more tolerable. Okay. Anyway, that is the Gaveco Supra, my first look at it. Uh, full review coming probably soon. And uh, yeah, be careful with the clips. They may damage your pen. I will not be responsible for you damaging your pen. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you on the next video. Bye.